I am not getting out of bed. These things are holding me back, physically holding me back. I feel as though there's something broken inside of me. I'm just not who I could be. How do you live through your daughter being beaten to death? Being hit, being abused was normal. Well, why don't you feel like you had a voice? And I said, because I was raped by my recruiter. Nobody sees my anger. I just bottle it up. So the version of trauma is replayed in terms of sensations of heartbreak, becoming uptight, becoming agitated, becoming scared, having sensations in your body that warn you, having your heart beat faster. Trauma is that your organism gets stuck there. You are a helpless person who is being raped. You are a soldier who is destroyed by the death of his friend and your subsequent atrocities that you committed. It's getting stuck in a state in your body. Stories live in our bodies. And our bodies are where the truth is told. The role of theater, back to the time of the ancient Greeks, has been to help people speak about the otherwise unspeakable. Oh, if I could, what grief should I forget? If I were mad, I'd forget my son. Finally, after 14, 15 years of not being able to grieve at all, I had the first step towards grieving for my daughter. And that was because of the Shakespeare group, because of the, the ability to have these emotions start to come up that have been buried so deep, I didn't even know we're still there. That embodiment of what we're asking them to do by standing up, by using their body, by using their voice, uh, it really gets at the release of the traumatic energy in a better way than just sitting and talking. What's the sign of transformation? It's that aha moment. Ah, there's my truth. It really can be life-changing. It really can be life-changing.